YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. So I built a Proxmox server and I need a new UPS for it. A search on my local micro center shows top of the line consumer grade ones going for $179.99 and up. Now the good thing about UPS is that you could get them for much less, way less. Batteries of UPSs die after two or three years and instead of replacing the batteries, many people choose to just get rid of the unit altogether. So a quick Facebook marketplace search allowed me to find one locally being sold for $50. A quick negotiation got it from 50 down to 40. Now, hopefully all we got to do is replace the battery. All right now. So first thing first, you want to flip the UPS over to find the bottle number. If you need instructions on how to open up your UPS, then type the model number plus the word manual into Google to get the manual of your unit. In the manual, you find instructions on how to open it up. Now, the reason I'm telling you that because it's fairly simple, but some UPSs are harder than others to get open. Now to get information on the specs of the battery you need for your replacement, type the model number into a site like techbatterysolutions.com. Then scroll down to the specifications section to get the replacement battery information. In my case, it's a 12 volt 9AH F2 terminal battery. Now I know a lot of people like to use amazon.com. So if you type that information into amazon.com, you'll be able to find the battery on there as well. The vendor I've, I've used for all my UPSs is Mighty Max. Now be careful because if it's sold and shipped from Amazon, then it cannot be returned. Amazon does not accept batteries for a return for a refund. So that's why you'll see a lot of people selling theirs off on Facebook Marketplace because they didn't pay attention to that detail. But if it's sold and shipped from Mighty Max, then it's eligible for a return. So you, if there's any problems, you could just send it back to Mighty Max and they'll refund you. Now, personally, I prefer to always order from Home Depot because if there's any issue, I can just drop it off at the local Home Depot store for the refund rather than ship it. So I ordered the batteries on Friday from Home Depot. Home Depot said I'll receive it on Wednesday, but I ended up getting it on Monday. So we're gonna first start out by opening the UPS. Well, you know, obviously. Pull the handles towards you to get it out. You're gonna then disconnect the black and red terminal cables. Now, don't let APC foolishness scare you. This is just two batteries stuck together. Nothing more, nothing less. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to remove the plastic cover by lifting it up gently. It's just a black plastic cover being held together by double-sided tape. Nothing special about it. Then we'll gently, we'll gently, sorry about that. Then we'll gently pull the yellow cables off the terminals by pulling them back. Just take your time, you know, take it slow. There's no rush. That's what she said. Anyway, so then we're gonna gently pull the handle tape off of the batteries. Now listen, I butchered the right side. I butchered it terribly. I'm not gonna hold you. It's terrible what I did on the right side, but I did a great job on the left. So don't concentrate on the right, concentrate on the positive, the left side. So take your time with it on both sides and it'll come out great. If you, you know, rush it like I did on the right side, then we might have to just use some electrical tape to hold it together. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. All right, so now that we got that done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna line the batteries up together. We're gonna go ahead and color coordinate them so we make sure everything is in its right place. What we then gonna do is we're gonna use some electrical tape to tape the batteries together. Now, I want you to pay attention to something that's very important. You see in the old batteries, they have a little gap between the two batteries. I learned after that that gap also helps with the black cover that we're gonna put on later. The black cover doesn't only have double-sided tape holding it in place, but it also has like two little plastic shims under it that sits perfectly between the batteries. So learn from my mistakes and make sure that you put a little gap between the batteries, all right? So what we're gonna do next 
is put the yellow cables back over the two terminals slightly gently you know cover them all right so then after we do that we're going to go ahead and reapply the black cover as you can see i found myself having a little bit of issues because i didn't ac account for the gap between the batteries but that's fine nonetheless we'll then reapply the tape handles as you can see the left side was no problem at all because I took my time with it but the right side was an utter disaster because I rushed it but a little electrical tape helped hold it in place now we'll pull out the UPS lower the battery in while connecting the terminal cable I'm now going to flip it over to see if this was all a waste of my goddamn time and money so let's see now I'm gonna try to start it and we're gonna see if this guy sold me a dud that even a battery wouldn't fix. <laughs> we gonna see. Let me stand it up. Boom. There it is. It's working. It's back to life. Right there and there. It's back to life. Full battery. 300. All right, y'all. So there you go. I was able to buy this for $40 off for someone on Facebook Marketplace. I spent about another $47 after taxes for the batteries. I came in at a little under 90. As you know, from the beginning of the video, this particular model costs about $179.99 brand new at Marker Center. So I was able to, you know, have like a little $90 savings or whatever the case might be. Now, you don't have to go the route that I went buying the batteries and then putting it together reusing the handles they come they have apc has the official batteries on amazon where you can you know it already has the handles it's already stuck together all you got to do is take out the old one put in the new one and it's about 69.99 but i went the extra route to save the extra 20 dollars plus it's good content at the end of the day so please stay tuned i got a few videos coming up um you know proxmox videos I have the Hackintosh in 2024 video I'm going to do. And I also have a lot of Plex Transco videos as well coming real, real soon. So please be on the lookout for that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is DeMarco Payne for Geek. And last but not least, may the good news be yours.